What is the most genius way to cheat on a exam you have ever seen? My brilliant uncle was a PhD candidate in the 70s at a pretty prestigious institution in the US. Well back in the day, to graduate with a PhD in his field of study, engineering, you had to demonstrate your mastery of a foreign language other than English, and by foreign language, only French, German and Spanish counted. Even though my uncle was born abroad and was fluent in other languages, the administration refused to let him pass a foreign language requirement without mastery of one of the above languages. Upon inquiring on what it would take to pass out of the language requirement, he was told that it would be based on comprehension of one of these, Spanish, French or German, books where a random page would be selected by the faculty for the student to translate. He promptly selected the French hardcover book, took it to his girlfriend at the time and cracked open that book to pages 165 stroke 166. With his girlfriend's translation, he memorized the contents of those pages. The next day, he opened that book to page 165, creased the spine and closed it. He repeated that same action the day after. Again he did the same the next day, and the day after that, and so on for the next year until it was time to demonstrate his mastery of the French language. Stepping into the professor's office, he handed over the book and the professor flipped open the book to a random page. The professor handed over the book back to my uncle. Looking down, my uncle saw pages 165 stroke 166, cracked a little smile and walked away with his PhD just a month later. That is some next level crap right there my god. Yesterday my class had a science test on an iPad. My friend searched the questions on the internet and dropped the answers to everybody. Back in my day I remember when they joked every school would have iPads. I graduated high school in 2010. The best place to hide things is right in plain sight. We had old desks that had all sorts of wear on them. So I am simply wrote what I needed on my desk really really lightly with a pencil. You could even erase it with a swipe of your hand if the teacher thought something was up. I did this once for a math final I wasn't very confident with. He gave us 10 minutes of study time and left the room to go do something. So I wrote a few formulas on my desk out of my notes. I used to type my answers into a grid and make the font a size 2 or something. I could fit 50 Spanish translations on the size of a postage stamp more legibly than I could have ever written it. I'd even pass them out to friends. I can actually write this tiny. It's a seldom needed skill. This is the opposite of what the OP asks, but I found it hilarious, so I'll share. I'm taking a CCNA course at a tech college. All the exams are taken from the online course. No surprise, the answers are available online on different websites. One student in my class decided to print out these answers, except he printed them to the instructor's printer. To be fair, printers are evil. It probably did that on purpose. Teacher told me this one. This kid was one of those kids who hardly showed up to class, so it was a surprise he showed up for the final. The kid asked to put down the window at the beginning of class because it was warm in the room, so my professor let him. The kid scribbled on his paper for 30 minutes and then asked to go to the bathroom, which my professor allowed. The kid came back and finished the test and then left. The twist in all of this? The kid had dropped a copy of the test out of the window to his friend down below, who went to the lounge and took the exam. They then met up in the bathroom and the kid took the test from his friend and went back to class, wrote his name on it and then turned it in. The only fault in this plan was that another professor happened to be looking in that direction as soon as the test was dropped out of the window, and proceeded to foil the whole plan. Dang we aren't even allowed to leave the room when taking quizzes in high school without fully turning it, meaning you're done, can't change anything. I forgot to write a huge paper in college so I wrote just one page and printed it 20 times. I handed it in and over the weekend finished the assignment. The next week the professor asked what happened and I said it must have been a mistake with the printer. He said that's alright, just print him out the full thing and bring it next class. I got an extra week with no penalty. Back in 1999 or so when scientific calculators were newish, I think. I got my own rather than use the school ones. They would check our pockets and our stuff to make sure we didn't have a cheat sheet. They would check our calculators to make sure we didn't have anything written. However I had a cheat sheet on paper, 
on the inside of the calculator's cover which fit behind. So I showed my screen and that it was blank but no one removed the lid. So I had to slide up the lid about an inch, and had written everything down as tiny as I could. Cheated and got away with it. Freshman in high school, this has never failed me. For some reason a school had the French test take place on a computer and the browser that was installed was Chrome and Chrome has an auto translate feature. I think you mean the Navigateur Installer 88 Chrome, or not. I used Google Translate so who knows. Had a buddy take an online course. Wrote to the company that did the book materials for the course saying he was a professor and wanted to use their materials for the course. They sent him all the answers and such. Brilliant. Frankly if you get the textbooks for free then this is the most genius answer of all. I think this isn't exactly cheating, but all the answers were on the test. Somehow I was the only one who figured it out. High school biology test, 10 questions and all multiple choice. I knew the answer for 6 questions, so as I was trying to figure out the other questions something come to my attention. All the alternatives were like that. A. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. B. X X X X X X X. C. C C C C C C C. D. V V V V V V V V. E. B B B B B B B. All the correct answers had a dot at the end of the sentence. I have a full tattoo sleeve on my right arm and both of my hands done. When I had an upcoming test I hadn't studied for, I would write little keywords to make myself remember things inside my tattoos and I'd write them in a similar color to the ink so unless you were looking insanely close you couldn't see them. Also, in high school my buddy and I had a system where he would signal what question he needed help with and then I would hold up one four fingers for AD. Prison break season one I roll. First we dumpster dive to get the mimeograph test. Yes this was the 80s. We had to tape the mimeograph to the dorm window backwards because it's a reversed image. The test was multiple choice so placed tiny pinholes running the length of the pencil. One hole for A, two holes for B, etc. It was a lot of work but we actually had to miss a few to make it legit. On an online exam, I saw someone take the whole exam without even touching his computer. The mouse was moving and everything. Turns out he set up a remote desktop and had someone take it from home. Amazing. And if the teacher found out, he could have just said he was moving the mouse with telekinesis. Completely foolproof. This wasn't that genius, but my freshman year of college, I missed an exam and the professor let me take a makeup in his office. I was failing miserably when I noticed his office phone. I called my roommate. Had him open my notes and he helped me get all the answers right. Not very genius but ballsy. A girl I know wrote all the answers on her thigh, then wore tights to the exam. When she stretched the tights she could see the answers but then let it go and cover it up. Sees girl stretching thighs frantically nothing weird going on here. One class I had, we were given the essay questions in advance so we knew what to study. During the test, we had to write the essays in class in blue books. I would write the essays in different blue books before the test and bring them in blank ones to class. At the end, I'd just switch out the completely filled out ones for the blank ones. It was such a hard class that I still never got a 100% on any of them. Best one I've heard of was a guy who was in band got a copy of the test for another class from someone who had the class earlier in the day. It was multiple choice. He transposed all the answers, A, B, C, or D, into musical notes. When they had to clear their decks before the test, he sat all his stuff on the ground with the sheet music on top. He had it divided into a specific number of notes per measure, so it was easy to find the one he was looking for. This is such a clever code, never even thought of it. GA we had for 100 level speech class always said if you get a tattoo of the answers he can't stop you. So, I always considered that the ballsiest way to cheat, though no one ever did it. Kid put earbud in his ear with snap notes running on repeat from his iPod. Cord ran through his sleeve so he looked like he was resting his hand on his head as he wrote with the other. Not really cheating, 
but I heard about a class where the final was so comprehensive the professor told the class it was entirely open book and they could bring in anything for reference they could carry. With the notable exception being a laptop with Wi-Fi. One guy apparently carried in his older brother on his back who was a TAFE or a higher level class in the same subject. Yeah, he got an A. There's a story at Caltech where a professor gave a take home exam and told students they could only use Feynman, by which he meant they could only use some specific textbook written by Richard Feynman. It just so happens that Richard Feynman was a professor at Caltech at the time, so a student went to the living breathing actual Richard Feynman for help on the exam. When I was going away to college, my dad told me this story about a friend of his. This friend was enrolled in a class where the test was being administered on two separate days for each half of the class. In each section there was a test A and B version. My dad's friend was taking the exam in the second day. That night, following the first day of tests my dad's friend received the answers from another friend for test version A. Bingo, he's in the clear for a good grade. Test day comes around, my dad's friend sits down for the test and is handed test B. Panic time, right? Nope. He gets up and timidly approaches the professor and says I'm sorry, I must confess and be honest. My friend gave me the answer to version B of this test. Could I take version A instead so I don't get caught for cheating and just like that he was handed the other version and sat back down. This is the winner. Stole this from the internet. We were allowed one 3x5 note card for the final. So I filled it up in blue ink with tiny writing. Then wrote over the top of that in red ink, and brought a clear piece of red and blue plastic with me. Teacher thought it was clever and allowed it. The only way this could be any more genius is if you wore those old 3D glasses. Then you would only have to close one eye or the other to properly see the notes. My nutrition class in college was online. My professor gave us a 10 question, multiple choice quiz every week, which he directly copied from Quizlet. Our final, quizzes won 10 in order. The kicker was that we had the ability to check our answers after each quiz, and she left those open until the end of the semester. We had 2.5 hours to take the final, and I finished it in 11 minutes. 100%. Quizlet is life my dude. Also, if I recall correctly there's an extension that autofills your test in for Quizlet. Smart kid sits up front. Beneath him is a tile floor. The tile under the front left leg of his desk is answer A. The one to the right of that is B. The one down from A is C and the one beneath B is D. Smart kid uses his left leg to point to the answer. Now the question numbers. Question 1 is when smart kid coughs, which is synchronized to the class clock. Each minute is a new question answer. After a 20 minutes exam, 20 questions are answered by moving his foot. Back in the big days of iPod Shuffle, there was a teacher at my high school that would let you bring in your music to listen to while you wrote your exam. The catch was you had to give him your shuffle to inspect before the exam. He would listen to your songs and then hand it back. My friend spliced in an audio recording of him reading answers and specific songs after the 1 minute mark. The teacher never caught it because he would only listen to the first bit of each song and then skip to the next one. Dude got an A. High school exam for grade 11 English. I'm allowed to use a laptop. Before the exam we were given 5 topics and told 3 of them would be on the exam. But the English teacher really liked the class and was a really nice person that she told everyone that showed up the last class before the exam that she was just going to put all 5 topics on it. I go home write my essay out and get the smartest people in class to edit. Put it on a USB. During exam teacher is distracted. I pull the USB out of pocket. Plug it in. Save essay to laptop and then eject to USB. I spent the rest of the time just typing random crap and deleting. Also for same exam, my friend typed out his essay, printed the paper, ripped the paper into pieces and stuffed it into his pocket. He pulled out the pieces one by one and wrote out his essay. He was a really smart guy and did really well. That last part honestly sounds harder than just writing it. I was very very bad at chemistry in senior year but I needed to pass the final to get the class credit in order to graduate. So the day of the test I wore a very low cut top with a zip up hoodie over it. I wrote down all the formulas from the study guide onto my cleavage, zipped the hoodie up, and just looked down at my boobs under the hoodie during the test for all the answers. I figured, I had nothing to get caught cheating with unless they demanded to see my cleavage. 
but that would never happen because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want to get sued. I passed the final, got the credit, and graduated. That's why they make us strip naked at my school. When I take multiple choice test, I write the answers really big along the left hand side. The person next to me can easily and discreetly see them. When a teacher asks me why, I tell them it makes it easier to fill in the scantron quickly if I do every question on a page first and fill in the circles later. And it's easier to fill them in if I write the answer to the side rather than checking for the one I circled. Helped my best friend many times. This is a legitimate test taking strategy, not the cheating part, but it fights the ping ponging of going back and forth between your test and the scantron, which supposedly eats a lot of time. Had a friend complete a degree at Melbuni and they would allow you to download the exam two days prior and then send you the password on the time the exam would start. My mate went send it to me and I would brute force it and give him the PW. He was able to practice the exam for two days and completed his degree with flying colors. Unfortunately his life was cut short but many great memories were made. R.I.P. Dave. Chapstick along the side of the scantron where the red marks get dashed on wrong answers. Chapstick stops the red mark from being printed along the edge and the machine counts the red marks. Not saying this doesn't work, but scramtrons jam and stop the machine when there is erasure remnants and or boogers on the papers. Source, have had to deal with both issues more than I care to admit. We had a rule that if you used a graphing calculator you had to show the professor that the memory was cleared before an exam. I wrote a program containing the periodic table for a chemistry class. I also coded in a false UI that could go to the memory screen and show that it had been erased as well as a programmed screen that would show empty and a fully functional UI to write in math formulas. That was probably my personal high point for cheating. But I took a music appreciation class in college and my best analogy to the class was that the exams were a lot like the Chunin exam in Naruto during the written portion where everyone was cheating in different ways. But some people had the exam in advance. Others were looking at their neighbors, some had cell phones that would listen for music and show what composition was playing. Others had the test in advance because the professor was horrible at keeping that stuff hidden. If the whole class was an exercise in cheating in unique ways. If this is true you worked way too hard for this. All you had to do was archive the program in a group. Memory wipes on TI calculators don't wipe the archive so once you're in the test you just restore and it's all back. Considering I never got caught I'd say it was part genius and part luck but very risky. This was in 5th grade and I had a teacher who clearly favored me. She told me that if I got to 100% on a test, she'd give me a jelly donut. This particular test was memorizing all of the state's capitals. So I studied really hard because I had never had a jelly donut. The day of test came and I got most of the capitals except for one. I waited there for a bit hoping that I'd remember and then the bell rang. However this wasn't any bell but in fact the fire bell because we had a fire drill. Bad planning on the teacher's end to have a test when they knew a fire drill was going to be that day. So as we were walking to the field I kept trying to remember that one capital but I just couldn't. As we were walking back from the field I realized this was my only chance so I asked a random kid what's the capital of Virginia if my memory is any good. I asked it in a sudden way so the kid's first reaction was to blurt out the answer. Which they did. Yes I know it's Richmond. A few seconds later I heard them and the yell hey wait a minute but I was long gone. For some reason the kids never told anyone. Probably because they didn't care enough. I got a 100% and my jelly donut. And nobody has ever known until now. And yes it was a good jelly donut. TL. DR doesn't matter got a jelly donut. One time for a middle school vocab test. Remember the orange books. I wrote synonyms to the words I couldn't remember on my fingernails. After the test I just licked my fingertip and wiped them off. OMG those orange books. Last year in uni they gave us draft papers. Some cheap recycled thin kind. So we don't pull our own. They were either grey or green depending on the table. I always sit in the table that gets grey because I take them home and write answers on them with pencil. I wrote so lightly it was invisible to see, even for me on some occasions. This will get buried but I think it's worth telling. Had an English teacher that was incredibly tech challenged. Our assignment was to write a paper. I completely forget. 
So I just got a blank disc and wrote my name etc on it and told him my printer was out of ink but here's a copy. This was like 2006 freshman year of high school. I got a B for my blank disc. I've posted this in a similar thread before, but I'm still impressed by the nuts on this kid. I TA'd a low level class and had an interesting run in with cheating. When grading a take home test we noticed that two of them looked remarkably similar. After quite a systematic prodding of prodding both kids, it was eventually revealed that one walked up to turn his incomplete test in, set it on the top of the stack, turned back around, said something like oh, wait, I just remembered something I wanted to add, covertly taking his test and the one directly under it off the stack. He ran to the library, photocopied the other student's completed test, stapled the original back together and assembled the copies, complete with some mixed in blank pages with half acid, hastily written answers, presumably to cover his tracks. Then he came back and casually set both tests back on the stack. The only reason we caught him is that the test he happened to grab had some real strange, easily recognizable answers so it was noticeable when they came up for the second time. Our school gave us Chroma books and we used this thing called power test to take quizzes on. Someone found out that you could use inspect elements to find out what the answer was. It is now blocked, sadly. Our school may now not have a budget because of these Chroma books, but we are now all top notch in figuring out ways past blocked sites and cheating on tests. In second grade I had a spelling test. I happened to wear a shirt that said ocean on it. The word ocean was on our spelling test. I kind of went all Michael Schofield, and drew a painting on my pencil case with Spanish verbs embedded in the painting. Worked out fine. Got an A. If your smarter friend sits behind you or next to you, he can carry you through the entire test by tapping out the answers on his desk. Left hand taps 10's digits, and right hand taps 1's digits. 1 tap equals A, 2 taps equals B, 3 taps equals C. 4 taps equals D. This is classic method. Oldest trick in the book, but so beautifully simple. Had a French oral exam in high school. The only real instruction was speak for 5 minutes about a recent experience. The phrase, in French was never used. My friend thought she'd tell her story in the first person and from the point of view of a French student. She learned the French for I went on holiday to England and I learned to say, and then recited 4 minutes and 50 seconds worth of her story in English. Genius. Dropped French that year I think. I stumbled across one in high school that served me well. I had a black translucent accordion folder I used to organize the handouts for each class. When we would start a quiz you had to clear your desk. Stack the books on the floor next to your desk. What I realized was that looking straight down you can see the sheet of paper at the back of the folder clearly. However, at an angle, the teacher's perspective, nothing was visible. This was great because you could hide a full page cheat sheet in plain sight. I used this in various classes for several years and never got caught. My backup plan was not to use obvious cheat sheet and use regular notes for trickiest section to have plausible deniability and claim I had not noticed it was visible. I am a lawyer now. Back when the Apple Watch first came out I would put the answer sheet as the background on the watch and would just occasionally glance at it to view answers. Not really cheating on test, but I guess for the teacher it was. My 4th grade teacher had his formal teacher observation for teacher levels coming up. He told us to raise our right hand if we knew the answer, our left if we genuinely did not know, and either hand halfway if we thought we were right. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.